Update 1 on Tropical Storm Jerry, which is the newest tropical storm in the Atlantic, currently with winds of 40 miles per hour, pressure of 1,008 millibars, current position is 27.3 degrees north, 44.9 degrees west, which puts it directly pretty much in the centre of the Atlantic basin right now. We're expected to turn towards the south and then towards the uh, west, uh, currently almost stationary at the moment, and then curve towards the north and then eventually northeast um, in about four or five days' time. That's what we're expecting. Could be a distant threat to the Azores, but probably nowhere else else over the next um, week or two as the case may be uh, but Jerry right now weak tropical storm could be room for a little bit of intensification over the next few days sea surface temperatures you can see right here are fairly good at the moment around 28 degrees that's the threshold that the storm's virtually over at the moment there 27 28 degrees celsius um, in terms of sea surface temperatures certainly warm enough to sustain a tropical cyclone at this time so the intensity forecast, what the models are saying right now then, um, most of them uh, predicting the storm to gradually intensify over the next few days, except one or two that keep it weak for a little while before eventually uh, intensifying it towards the end of that run there. Um, but we could be looking at a strong tropical storm by the end of this week. You can see how um, it's expected to curve back on itself towards the west and then eventually turn towards the northeast um, and then move towards the northeast, towards the Azores and out to sea probably. Um, the shear comparisons right now, wind shear is fairly moderate at this time and that will remain the case over the next few days, uh, peaking a little bit in about a day or two where it will reach around 25 knots which is fairly high and could uh, interfere with development but it will slacken off just a little bit before um, increasing again in future. The sea surface temperatures are going to remain fairly consistent for a good while, a good while yet, around 27-28 degrees Celsius and that will remain the case for a good 4 or 5 days and the relative humidity is around moderate at the moment, will be dipping a little bit to around 40% and then back up to around 60 in about five days time that's what the malls are saying right now um, fairly in line with each other as well I must say the latest satellite imagery then you can see how the storm is uh, having a little bit of trouble keeping all the um, cloud cover over the center of the storm but uh, it's not looking too bad at this time uh, the storm is expected to move uh, you can see how it's been moving towards the uh, east at the moment uh, slowing down and then expected to turn back on itself and then eventually turn towards the north and then northeast as time goes on. As I said, um, some gradual intensification is likely, but that hasn't occurred over the past few hours, um, remaining at 40 miles per hour. But the air pressure has gone down slightly to 1,008 millibars from when it was a tropical depression earlier today. Um, but we could see a little bit of intensification over the next day or two. Uh, but by the end of the week, at least, we'll probably see the storm being around 60, maybe 65 miles per hour. So the World Tropics then right now, we have the other invest as well in the Atlantic, 97L, currently located south of Jamaica. Jerry, of course, in the centre of the Atlantic, almost directly in the centre there. Tropical Storm Blue Tip, which is currently weakening and eventually dissipating over um, the Asian continent there. A new storm, Fito, which has formed in the Western Pacific, and of course, um, Saipat as well, which has also formed in the Western Pacific today. But in the Atlantic, you can see those two storms right now. 97L, currently located south of Jamaica, has a 20% chance of development. And of course, Tropical Storm Jerry, which is up there towards the centre of the Atlantic right now. So we're on our 10th storm of the season so far. That makes it um, the 67th busiest season on record with two hurricanes so far. Uh, none of them becoming major hurricanes just yet. Um, there's still time to see possibly a major hurricane forming in the Atlantic, but certainly not a given. Uh, but 10 tropical storms, that puts 2013 in 67th place in a company of 1942 and 1963 directly above and below it. And don't forget, you can track this storm and indeed any other storms out there at the moment worldwide at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking.html. They are presented with the overview map showing all the storms that are currently active, including invest and post tropical storms, which there are none of at the moment. Um, and you can also find us elsewhere on the web, Facebook and Twitter, to search force13 on either of those. And uh, please do show your support by doing the usual means of engagement on any of these platforms, YouTube or whatever, by doing the usual means of engagement, uh, liking, subscribing, commenting, favoriting, or indeed. Um, anything else following or anything like that um, and if you have any comments any questions for me personally with with regards to the storm um, please do send them um, in the comments page or uh, by personal message if you so wish and I'll get back to you in it promptly hopefully uh, the next video on Jerry will be coming up tomorrow evening at around 9 30 p.m. UTC but until then that's all for now